If you do not place this tube on the red line, you can get a wrong blood pressure reading. The red lines you see here are the arteries and the blue line here is the veins. If you have an automated blood pressure like one of this, or let's say you plan to get one and want to know how to check your blood pressure accurately every single time at home or anywhere, I will tell you how to do it. I'm going to demonstrate this on my hand. As a doctor, I provide health information that is scientific and mostly natural in a simple way for you to understand and follow. In a normal working day, when I'm seeing patients, I check blood pressure more than 100 times in just one day, and I'm sharing my experience here. Make sure you watch till the end so you learn all the tips and tricks to get correct blood pressure reading, and you don't miss out on any. It does not matter what company's blood pressure you use, they all work the same way. A question to you, do you measure blood pressure at home? Comment yes or no below. The first thing you do is obvious thing, you turn this on, let's do it. I'm going to stand up to show this to you. If you take this cuff, you pull this up your arm. Now you're going to wrap this around your arm like this with the plastic tubing going down where the red line is. You see my red lines on my hand? That's where you need to place this plastic tubing. Some of the cuffs are not easy to place, so this is not easy to put on my own, so I might need some help, but the one we find in the hospitals are pretty good. We can just do it on our own, but here looks like we need someone to help us. Uh, can you help me put this on? Turn this around. It took me a few minutes to get this on. I needed some help. I think it depends on what type of cuff you have. If you do not place this tube on the red line, you can get a wrong blood pressure reading. The red lines you see here are the arteries and the blue line here is the veins. The arteries carry blood with oxygen from the heart to the arm and the veins bring them back to the heart and lungs. The blood pressure you're measuring is from the arteries. Specifically, this red line is called a brachial artery. Now, how do you know where the brachial artery is? Do this with me. Bend your left hand at the elbow. You can take your three fingers on the right hand and put it on the side of the arm. That is close to the body. This is also called the medial side. Now open your hand and you should feel a pulse here. It may be difficult on the first attempt. Keep trying today and the next few days while you're watching TV. Once you do it a few times, you will nail it. You will know next time how to check blood pressure even without looking for it. All right, now you know how to put the cuff on. There are some precautions you should take so you get a correct reading. Before you do any of the measurements, first use the bathroom. Don't drink any coffee or tea or soda for 30 minutes prior to taking the blood pressure. Coffee, tea or soda has caffeine in it and it can increase blood pressure. So you don't know if it is a problem you have or is it temporary because of caffeine. Also, don't take blood pressure as soon as you wake up as this may also give a false reading. So a typical thing to do is after you wake up, do your morning routine and then after about 30 minutes to one hour, give yourself three to five minutes to check the blood pressure. Try to measure the blood pressure at the same time and the same arm every day. Normally, the blood pressure varies or changes during the day. So measuring at the same time will help you know you're measuring it correctly. Don't panic if you see any changes during the day. You know, that's a normal variation. The next thing you do is sit straight. Now, if you're unable to sit straight or you're measuring someone who is bedridden, then you can measure it with the person lying down and you follow the same routine every day. A good place to sit is a dining table chair. Now I'm gonna sit and demonstrate this to you. This will make you sit with your back straight and helps you place your hands on the dining table. So the cuff is at the level of your heart. If you place the cuff above the heart, your pressure will be low. And if you place it below the heart, the pressure will be high. If you cannot find a dining chair, you can just sit like me with my hand across and keep your hand relaxed. All right. Now you're sitting straight and you have the cuff on. Wait for two to three minutes to relax and take some big breaths. Two to three minutes. If you're stressed, this can falsely increase the blood pressure. So this deep breathing and relaxing will make you settle down. When you put the cuff on, put it tightly, but not very tight. You should be able to insert one finger 
slightly and our two fingers below the cuff. Now we are ready to measure. Once you do this routine for a few days, you will know how to do this and you can do this easily without spending much time. Now let's check my blood pressure, okay? I'm gonna hit the start button here. When the blood pressure is being measured, you can see this is going to put a lot of pressure on your arms. And this is how the blood pressure is measured because this will block the flow in the arteries. As the air in the cuff goes away, the blood pressure readings are recorded. If you feel a tingling sensation in your hand while the blood pressure is being measured, that's normal. That's because there is so much of pressure in the cuff. All right, the blood pressure recording is in progress and let's see what the number will say. Sometimes it can be a hard wait. It takes a minute or two. You just have to be patient. That cannot be real. <laughs> there is some error in measurement. I'm not going to panic on this number, but I'm going to check this again. When you get an inaccurate reading, you just take the cuff off, put it back again, make sure all the connections are fine, and then recheck this. So I hit the start button again, and let's see what this is going to do now. I'm hoping the number will be much better this time. <laughs> Still checking. So here is my blood pressure. I like this number much better than otherwise. This is a practical problem that once you measure, you can get inaccurate readings. So in that case, you actually repeat it again, or you use the cuff on someone else whom you think has a normal blood pressure and then check on you, okay? Now you see three numbers. The top number is the systolic blood pressure and the bottom number is the diastolic blood pressure. The first one, which is a systolic blood pressure, number indicates how much pressure your blood is exerting against your artery walls as your heart beats. The second number, which is the diastolic blood pressure, it tells you how much pressure your blood is exerting when your heart is resting in between beats. So far, if you're finding any value with this video, make sure to smash that like button. There's also a number that comes below and this is called the mean blood pressure. I use this, or I should say doctors use this for certain types of situations, but for the purpose of measuring at home, you can just focus on the top two numbers. If you want to go a step further, you can also write down your numbers in a book or any of the smartphone apps. Now if you're measuring this just for the sake of measuring, one reading is fine, but if you're serious about blood pressure, then you should measure it at least three times and take an average of it. Some situations where you want to measure it three times are if you take medicines for high blood pressure, or pregnant, or have risk factors for high blood pressure, like a family member having high blood pressure, you have, to, you have diabetes, you're obese, etc. Here are some things to keep in mind. One tip is to use the cuff that is correct size. The one I have is for adults, but if this is to be used for someone who is obese or have big arms, then you need a bigger sized cuff. Same for using for children, you will need a smaller sized cuff. If the cuff size is wrong, the blood pressure readings can be wrong. Now, if you look at the cuff, there are two measurements with this cuff. The width, which is this, should be 40% of your arm length. The arm length is actually measured between the bony prominence here on the shoulder, which is called the acromion, and the bony process here called the olecranon on the bone called ulna. The length of the cuff should be enough to encircle the whole arm with just a little extra. It should not go around the arm twice, as this can happen if I put the same cuff on a child. This is not correct. Also, if you put the same cuff on a person with a big arm, then you can imagine this one circle enough. So this is how you decide on the size. You don't have to make it so complicated. If you get an adult sized cuff, this should be sufficient for most people and you don't have to routinely measure the width and the length of the cuff. Also make sure when you put this on, there are no wrinkles on the cuff. You want to have a cuff, something like this. No wrinkles, put it on nicely with some love. Other common questions that comes up is, can you use this on top of your clothes? Ideally, it should be measured directly on the arm. If you cannot do this, then you can do this on a thin cloth, but not a sweater or a jacket. You should take it out. Since you're doing this at home, you can do this at your privacy. After all, you want to get a good number. 
the american college of cardiology and the american heart association define high blood pressure as a number that is above 130 or 80 millimeter mercury so the top number if it is 130 or more and the bottom number 80 or more this is considered high blood pressure ideally you want your blood pressure to be less than 120 over 80 millimeter mercury which is what the organization considers as normal high blood pressure is a reason for many heart attacks check this video link to find out more about this dangerous problem on heart attack and the steps you can take to take care of this subscribe to the channel if you want updates on videos whenever i release them take care stay safe and i'll talk to you soon